sad, adjective, feeling or showing sorrow, unhappy, causing or characterized by sorrow or regret, unfortunate and regrettable, pathetically inadequate or unfashionable, of dough heavy through having failed to rise. Say, verb, utter words so as to convey information, an opinion, a feeling, or intention, or an instruction. Of a text or a symbolic representation, convey specified information or instructions. Enable a listener or reader to learn or understand something by conveying or revealing information or ideas. Of a clock or watch, indicate a specified time. Be asserted or reported, often used to avoid committing the speaker or writer to the truth of the assertion. Present a consideration in favor of or excusing someone or something. Utter the whole of a speech or other set of words, typically one learned in advance. Assume something in order to work out what its consequences would be, making a hypothesis. Use parenthetically to indicate that something is being suggested as possible or likely but not certain. Exclamation. Used to express surprise or to draw attention to a remark or question. Noun, an opportunity for stating one's opinion or feelings. An opportunity to influence developments and policy. Secret, adjective, not known or seen or not meant to be known or seen by others. Not meant to be known as such by others. Fond of or good at keeping things about oneself unknown. Of information or documents given the security classification above confidential and below top secret. Noun, something that is kept or meant to be kept unknown or unseen by others. Something that is not properly understood a mystery, a valid but not commonly known or recognized method of achieving or maintaining something. Formerly, the name of a prayer said by the priest in a low voice after the offertory in a Roman Catholic Mass. So, verb, give or hand over something in exchange for money, have a stock of something available for sale, have purchased in specified amounts or for a specified price. Sell all of one's stock of something. Be all sold. Of a product, be purchased by a customer from a retail outlet. Sell all one's property, possessions, or assets. Have sex in exchange for money. Abandon one's principles of reasons or expedients. Betray someone for one's own benefit. Offer something dishonorably for money or other reward. Persuade someone of the merits of. Be the reason for something being bought. Cause someone to become enthusiastic about. Trick or deceive someone. So, adverb. To such a great extent. Extremely. Very much. Used for emphasis. Used to emphasize a clause or negative statement. Used with a gesture to indicate size to the same extent used in comparisons, referring back to something previously mentioned. That is the case. Similarly and also, expressing agreement, used to emphatically contradict a negative statement. In the way described or demonstrated thus, conjunction, and for this reason, therefore, with the result that, with the aim that, in order that, and then as the next step. Introducing a question. Introducing a question following on from what was said previously. Why should that be considered significant? Introducing a statement which is followed by a defensive comment. 
introducing a concluding statement in the same way, correspondingly. Sum, determiner, an unspecified amount or number of, used to refer to someone or something that is unknown or unspecified, used with a number, approximately, a considerable amount or number of, at least a small amount or number of, expressing admiration of something notable, used ironically to express disapproval or disbelief. Pronoun, an unspecified number or amount of people or things, at least a small amount or number of people or things. Adverb, to some extent, somewhat. Sorry, adjective, feeling distress, especially through sympathy with someone else's misfortune, filled with compassion for, feeling regret or penitence, used as an expression of apology, used as a polite request that someone should repeat something that one has failed to hear or understand, in a poor or pitiful state or condition, unpleasant and regrettable, especially on account of incompetence or misbehavior, Sound, noun, vibrations that travel through the air or another medium that can be heard when they reach a person's or animal's ears. A thing that can be heard. The area or distance within which something can be heard. Sound produced by continuous and regular vibrations as opposed to noise. Music, speech, and sound effects when recorded used to accompany a film or video production or broadcast. Broadcasting by radio as distinct from television. The distinctive quality of the music of a particular composer or performer or of the sound produced by a particular musical instrument. Music, especially popular music. The ideas or impressions conveyed by words. Verb. Emit or cause to emit sound. Give an audible signal to indicate something. Express or convey a warning. Test the lungs or other body cavity by noting the sound they produce. Convey a specified impression when heard. A something or someone that has been described to one convey a specified impression. Adjective. In good condition, not damaged, injured, or deceased. Financially secure, based on reason, sense, or judgment. Competent, reliable, or holding acceptable views. Of sleep, deep and undisturbed. Of a person tending to sleep deeply. Severe. Adverb. Soundly. Verb. Ascertain the depth of water, typically by means of a line or pole or using sound echoes. Examine a person's bladder or other internal cavity with a long surgical probe. Question someone, typically in a cautious or discreet way, as to their opinion or feelings on a subject. Inquire into someone's opinions or feelings in a cautious way, especially if a whale die down steeply to a great depth. Noun, a long surgical probe, typically with a curved blunt end. A narrow stretch of water forming an inlet or connecting into wider areas of water, such as two seas or a sea and a lake. Stone, noun, a hard, solid, non-metallic mineral matter of which rock is made, especially as a building material used in similes and metaphors to refer to weight or lack of feeling, expression or movement, a small piece of rock found on the ground, a meteorite made of rock as opposed to metal, a calculus, a gallstone or kidney stone, a piece of stone shaped for a purpose, especially one of commemoration, ceremony or demarcation, a gem or jewel, short, for curling stone. A round piece or counter originally made of stone used in various board games such as backgammon. A large flat table or sheet originally made of stone and later usually of metal 
on which pages of type were made up. A hard seed in a cherry, plum, peach, and some other fruits. A unit of weight equal to 14 pounds, 6.35 kilograms. A natural shade of whitish gray or brownish gray. Verb, throw stones at. Remove the stone from a fruit. Build, face, or pave with stone. Store, noun. A retail establishment selling items to the public. Store bought. Quantity or supply of something kept for use as needed. A place where things are kept for future use or sale. Supplies of equipment and food kept for use by members of an army, navy, or other institution, or the place where they are kept. A computer memory. A sheep, steer, cow, or pig acquired or kept for fattening. Verb. Keep or accumulate something for future use. Retain or enter information for future electronic retrieval. Have a supply of something useful. Remain fresh while being stored.